Hi, in this video we will see how to use the Multiworld plugin for Unreal Engine 4. The plugin is available in the Unreal Marketplace and it allows you to manage multiple independent UWorld instances simultaneously. This means that you can now run several worlds in parallel with completely isolated actors and components, and so with independent content such as graphics, audio and physics, then transfer the player and other actors between the worlds. With a few clicks it can be used in an incredible number of ways, for example, to create custom loading screens, or to have, without any workarounds, custom inventory or editor scenes with their own 3D environments and lighting, existing in parallel to the main game world. For this tutorial, we'll start from an empty project. First, let's look in the Edit Plugins menu and ensure that the Multiworld plugin is enabled. Multiworld requires a simple setup of your project. In the Project settings, you must set the Game Instance and Game Viewport classes to the ones supplied with the plugin. This is needed because the plugin must intercept some important system calls. Look at the documentation for more advanced scenarios. Now let's see how we can use the Multiworld plugin to switch between two completely distinct types of games. For the first game, we'll use the standard third-person template project from Epic. For the second game, we'll use the first-person template project. As we'll play them independently, we must ensure that their maps are using the correct game mode classes. We'll use the third-person map as the main world. The main world is the level loaded and managed by Unreal Engine 4 while secondary worlds are levels managed by the multi-world plugin. Only the main world is network replicated. Let's start by loading the secondary world from our main world. To load a secondary world, we simply call the load world method. In this case, we'll load the first person map. Now we'll create a simple teleporting base using a cube and a box trigger. We'll use this to move the player to the secondary world. When the player overlaps with the trigger box, we'll teleport them to the other world. To do this, we simply call the method switch world, passing the handle of the destination world. That's all for the basic use of the plugin. It's really that simple. But let's make things a bit more interesting. Now let's do the same in the first person map to allow the player to return to the main world. The plugin provides a special method, getMainWorldHandle, to get the handle of the current main world. To make things more interesting, let's create a unique lighting setup for this level. As the project is using the static lighting pipeline of Unreal Engine 4, we'll have to rebuild the lighting. We can now test our project, starting the game from the main world. Done! In a few clicks, you can have multiple independent worlds in your game. You can load as many secondary worlds as you like, and you can also transfer actors between different worlds. Look at the documentation for all the details. In addition, the plugin can also be used in multiplayer games. The only limitation is that the secondary worlds are not network replicated. All we need is a simple change. We must ensure to call the method switch world only on the local client of the player we want to teleport. We can use the standard method is locally controlled for this. As you can see, each player has their own unique and persistent version of the secondary world, while the main world is shared and replicated. You can find more details in the official documentation. That's all for this tutorial. 
Thanks for watching and remember that you can find more information about the Multiworld plugin directly in the Unreal Engine 4 marketplace. Link in the description. Bye.